I'm Dave the Oven Guy, and this is the Honeywell UDC 2800. And we're using this to replace most of the oven controllers that we're putting onto ovens. It's a bigger unit than the 2500, which it replaced. It's the same size unit that the SUDC 2500 that are replaced. And the back chassis and the wiring is actually the same as a 2500. But this is the 2800. And here we have our, this is set up to run an oven. So PV is our process value, which is 79 degrees on the thermocouple that we have set up in the, um, in the lab here right now. Um, SP is our set point, and that's at 750 right now. And this lower display is the percent output that we have right now. Now, I want you to look at this DO here. Right now, our output is at zero. If we press our arrow keys, we change it to 100, and this DO lights up. And if you listen very carefully, you could hear the relay going on as the light here goes on and off. This is set up for on and off functioning. And right now, the output that the controller is giving, giving is zero. And if we press this button here, we change it to 100. And this says that we have our controller is on completely and our, is, our, our relay is open and we're heating up the oven. That's what this DO means. And if we press the arrow key to go back to zero, this will no longer be red. And now we're not heating up the oven. Nothing is happening with this controller right now. If we want to change our, this controller is also set up to have two set points. And the way we access that is to go to the lower display button and they will change the lower display here. Right now we have output. We want to change, we look at it, we go to SP, which is set point one. We press it again. We have set point two, which is 700 degrees. But right now we're, we have our SP, not our two SP. So our set point one is still at 750 degrees. Now our set point two is at 700, but if we press this again, We'll go to our deviation, which is the difference between the 750 and the 79. If we press it again, we will get our input one, which is what the thermocouple is reading on the input one line, which is 79 degrees. If we press it again, we will go back to our output. Now, if we go down, pressing the lower display key, we have set point, we have set point two. At this point, if we press this button here, the second one over, which reads function, we will change to set point two. So let's press the function key, and we are changing to set point two. Now, right now, the oven is not doing anything because our output is zero. There's our DO there, it's black. If we press the, if we press this button here on the end, we, no, if we press our arrow key, we would change to 100%, and right now the one is on, so we should be heating up the oven. So let's change this back to set point one, and the way we do that is we press the lower display button, and it changes from output to SP, and if we want to change SP, we go here to the second button, which is the function button, and we press that. And because we're at 100% output, and because the red DO light is on, we would be starting up the oven if we, if we had the oven here. <laughs> These buttons on the bottom, this is our setup key to enter programming. This is our function key. These are two arrow keys. This is our lower display key. And this is a change from manual to automatic here on the, on the end here. So that's a basic buttons and the basic how to change your set point and how to adjust your set point. Let's adjust this set point. 
the 750 degree set point. So to do that, we press the lower display button and we display SP750 here. So which is a set point that we're working with. And then we simply use our up and down arrow keys to set our temperature. And after we're done with that, um, we could just start up the oven. So that's what the basic keys do. Uh, this is Dave the Oven Guy from Custom Design Chemicals. We also work on ovens. Um, our 